here I have risen, and I am with you still. Alleluia. You have laid your hand upon me. Alleluia. Too wonderful for me this knowledge. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Who take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who in this holy place through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurry in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, you children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us? As if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the holy and righteous one and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him his perfect health. In the presence of all of you, now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has this brought to fulfillment. Jake, you finish. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Fulfillment. Okay. Sorry. What he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets 
from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors, when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Lord, Lord. Amen. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Lord our God, Lord our God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in, in all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name all over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with the glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, Lord our, our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the seas. O Lord, Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands, and look at my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We will have very short words this morning because another Mass will begin in 20 minutes. And I would like to point out to you here in the tomb you have this rock. And this is original rock, original limestone that was not worked before. And it was recovered and exposed here in the renovations five years ago, six years ago. And we are standing at the tomb, which is the, the rock on top of the tomb is here underneath the altar, covered with a slate of or a, a wooden level of white marble. And underneath that is a crusader period cover of black marble. And then you have the real original rock of the tomb. 
This is the mystery of this place where Christ has risen from the dead. Let us proceed with the Eucharist. And we pray the creed on this octave of Easter. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and, and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in one Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. bringing all the intentions that you have requested for Mass here, all the intentions of all those who will see this video in the future, we will include them now, for Maddie and Jay's family, for Brother Noor here, one of the Franciscans, and for all the Franciscans and the work to do in the Holy Land. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it would become for us the bread of life. Yes, indeed, I pray Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be O God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exultant with the Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. Yet in this holy place, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sir was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and ever and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Pierre Battista, our Patriarch, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, the Lord, Lord, the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, nor on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. And then, O God, you would take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, we may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. You can keep showing the notes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we will be showing the notes. Okay. Don't stay notes here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh,
So this is Brother Moore. Are we in good interview here? We mm -hmm. have to deny this little this thing. Just move the camera over here. Is this good? Yep. Okay. So Brother Moore is from Iraq. And he was in Iraq for Pope Francis' visit. And he, I want Brother Moore just to tell us what it was like. Thank you for joining us. It was us. a beautiful time. You can talk a little louder if you can. For the mic. Yeah. It was a beautiful time, of course, for Iraq and also for the Pope. Because three years ago, when I met him, he told, I want to go there, it's my uh, dream. And he realized it is dream. It was a dream of the people, because the people, he want the Esperance, he want uh, to know hope, we are hope in... Hope, Esperance, is hope, hope. hope, yeah. The people, uh, it was hope for him, of course, because our after uh, the war, you know, the troubles. after the war, it was so important for all the people to see that the church is in union, all the church is united. And mm -hmm. is with the people, with the poor people, mm -hmm. and with the people that live in the world. Yes. And he asked, it, uh, I meet him mm -hmm. also now, and he asked it me. And uh, he, he told me pray for me in the Holy uh, Land because you have this uh, grace of God to stay in this to live uh, here, to mm -hmm. live here mm -hmm. in these uh, places, in all this sanctuary and uh, important places for our uh, faith. Thank you, Brother Noor. Okay. So now we have a new big strong prayer intention. Did you ever think you would meet? I didn't realize he was from Iraq and I was going to say he was from Syria because I had, he told me the other day, but I have a terrible memory as you can see. And uh, we're so happy. Thank you, Brother Noor. And Noor means light, right? Yeah. His name is Light, Brother Light, the light of Christ. Thank you, Brother Noor. Thank you, Brother Noor. Shukran. Mm -hmm. So people, this is beautiful. I'm going to take the camera like I usually do from the other side because I want to show you two troublemakers. <laughs> and this is Maddie and Jay, and they are studying here in, in um, Jerusalem. And Maddie writes a beautiful column. I'm going to give you the link. You'll find her in Instagram. She writes wonderful reports on the Holy Land, and uh, she's at the different sites. And Jay, what, you're studying languages? I'm at uh, Hebrew University for Islam in the Middle East. Okay. Grad school. Reason. So we'll just go over here.
surprise tomb is right behind this wall. This is where we were celebrating Mass, just in here.